Is this the best hand grinder we have ever used? Welcome, my name is Patrick Rolf and this is Coffee with April. For this episode, we're gonna continue our deep dive into trying different grinders for our April brewing kit. And this time is made it's time to take a closer look at the 1C Presso uh, K Plus series uh, made in Taiwan. Uh, we've been playing around with this grinder for quite some time now. They actually have several different models in the line. We've been testing two of them uh, and this has been our favorite so far. We all know that hand grinders is quite a discussed subject here in the coffee scene, at least the home brewing scene. And what we're gonna start by doing with this grinder here is just take a look at all of the different components that we have to work with. So first of all, it comes delivered in this rather smooth, good looking little case, which is kind of easy to bring with you. We're gonna pop it open. Uh, what we have here is basically the, the grinder itself, um, a little brush, the handle of course, we're going to take a closer look at that. Uh, we also have the brewing instructions as well, which kind of tells you which grind size you want to be at. Um, I guess this little thing is for some kind of cleaning as well, you can blow a little air, air on it. Um, you have this thing, which I'm going to come back to, but it's kind of an interesting side note. Um, now, the grinder as well here, um, which is kind of important. Uh, first of all, um, it's made of two different materials, more or less. So we have basically aluminium um, as well as stainless steel. So everything in the base here is aluminium. This is obviously wood. They call it anti-slip wood. I guess that means it's an easier grip. You also have this kind of little rubber thing on uh, to also help you when you're grinding. Uh, the upper part here, the dial, is actually in stainless steel as well. Um, and you can see here on the top, the kind of red dot, which is where you're actually marking uh, the, the zero or whatever grind setting you want to have. And the zero basically stops here, so then you put it more or less on zero. Uh, and then you can just follow the, follow the clicks here. Now, the dial actually goes above zero, you can push it all the way to, to more or less uh, above four. So you have some extra settings if you wanna go really, really coarse, but we haven't really found a brew method that that really is necessary for. So we use eight as our coarsest kind of grind setting. Um, now with the grinder as well, of course, uh, the handle, a little wooden knob, which is, is kind of nice. Uh, this here to be extra uh, firm as well is made of stainless steel as well. A uh, little kind of plastic hatch there to allow you to see through um, into your grinder if you want to. Uh, not sure if that's necessary, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Now, apart from that, which is an interesting sign note with this grinder as well, is it's actually really easy to pick apart, uh, clean properly and put back together. Um, that's something that you just should follow your instructions for to kind of do clearly. Now, what we have here is actually, anyone that's seen a World Barista Cup presentation uh, kind of knows what this is, but it actually allows you, which is kind of cool, uh, when you work with the base of the, the grinder here, we're gonna see if, where am I put that? You actually have an alternative add-on uh, which is this and what you do here is you basically take out the base on the grinder And you screw this back in And you pop this in the base so what it allows you to do is to actually put this on any given size of portafilter for your espresso machine uh, and grind directly into this and then basically you're just lifting this to make sure the coffee grounds go through which gives you a lot smoother kind of workflow when it comes to working with espresso as well. Um, so from that perspective it's a kind of a well thought out 
a little kit that actually allows you to handle both filtered coffee uh, as well as espresso in a fairly kind of smooth, clean way, which we think is very important. Um, yeah, that's about it. So after discussing this, it's time for us to kind of look into how are we brewing with it and what are the kind of cool little features that we tend to kind of like is there something we don't like as well. Now, one of the things that I personally really appreciate with the grinder uh, and a challenge that I always have with the Comandante is that where is the actual zero, which is something that's been discussed. Um, and on this, it has a really, really easy dial where we can basically just regulate the size from zero up to eight. Um, it's actually 90 clicks in total on full dial, and it gives you a difference of 22 microns in between the settings. So you have a very, very wide range of settings to play with, which is very helpful, especially if you want a hand grinder that's gonna be able to pull both espresso shot as well as working well with your press pot or April brewing kit. And this one actually does. Now, for this video, we're focusing on the filter brewing aspect of it. I'm sure we'll make an espresso video with this later on as well. Now, the brewer actually comes with an interesting little card that we're gonna give you guys a close up on that shows their kind of recommended uh, brewing styles for various grind settings. Uh, now, when we use the April brewing kit, on our standard recipe using 13 grams of coffee to 200 grams of water, we end up on seven. Um, and again, as I mentioned, it's really, really easy to actually adjust it. Uh, a few other cool features as well is that one, the kind of uh, bean catcher here is magnetic, uh, which is quite different and it makes it really easy to use with. You basically just take it off very easy and you put it back on. Um, stainless steel bursts, which is kind of a, a given now for the best hand grinders you find there on the market. Um, one of the things I should say is that I find it to be a bit easier, simpler, and more efficient to grind using this grinder versus, for example, a Comandante. So we're gonna push 13 grams of coffee into the grinder, and we're using that on grind setting seven. Now, now we're done, it's pretty easy. I think part of why it, it is a relatively kind of robust hand grinder, uh, it feels a bit heavier than the Comandante. It feels a bit clunkier, it's maybe not as pretty, but it does give you a lot more to work on in terms of using it as a grinder, which I tend to actually prefer. Now, a challenge with it that comes with quite a few hand grinders is that when we pop this off, we're actually gonna have quite a lot of coffee stuck underneath the grinder. Now, you can't really do the water tip, which you've probably seen on the Comandante, you add a little driplet of water. Um, it actually doesn't work on this. What I find working fairly okay is that if you actually just twist the bottom and the top, you can actually make sure to get some of that coffee down uh, without actually having to waste it. Now let's take a closer look at the actual um, grind size and how they look. Another cool thing with it is that we have very little actually retention. So we're dosing 13.2 and we basically got 13 grams out, which in our world is very good. Now, in terms of brewing, we're sticking with our standard recipe, uh, which is fairly simple and I'm sure most of you have heard it by now. We're pre-wetting the filter. A side note is that the April custom-made paper filter um, is coming in February. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. Our Patreons will be the first one to get it. Um, 13 grams of coffee. 
95 degrees Celsius on the water. First pour 100 grams. We do that within 10 seconds. 30 grams in a circle, 70 grams in the center. We're gonna let that sit for 35 seconds and then we're gonna do a second pour that's more or less gonna be identical to the first pour. Looking at a drawdown at about 240, again using setting number seven on this grinder. Now another side note, the coffee that we're brewing, uh, one of our favorite coffees at the moment, natural processed SL28 varietal from our partner from Vulcan Azul in Costa Rica. Coffee packed with flavors, a lot of berry notes, a lot of chocolate notes. And it's been working really well together with this grinder in particular. Now, what I wanna walk you through now is what can we experience taste-wise from this grinder? What is actually coming up? What is the cup qualities that we find in relationship um, to some of the other grinders we've been using with the April Brewing Kit? So the key thing for us when it comes to, to taste um, flavors in the coffee is obviously gonna be transparency always, uh, which we found it very easy to find with this grinder, which is the important part, right? The cup profile here is very berry-like, it's quite intense, it's very sweet, uh, which is very much based on the coffee itself, of course, but it's also a grinder that allows you to showcase the coffee without having any negative aspects from the brew showing as well. Moving on, um, the real question here is, is this a grinder that we like together with April Brewing Kit? Is this a grinder that we would recommend other people to use? Uh, keep in mind, it is not the cheapest grinder on the market. I think it even rivals Comandante in terms of price. Now, personally, from my experience, I would bring this to a World Brewers Cup if I ever end up there again. Um, it's a great grinder. It's not the prettiest grinder. I wouldn't have it on uh, at home in my kitchen, but it's performance wise, really easy to use, really consistent, um, and it gives a great cup profile. And I think most importantly, it's, it's a bit easier to grind. It's a bit smoother to use. Um, I personally like the fact that you can push espresso with it really well without doing any modifications as well. Um, so overall, it's a, it's a great grinder that generates a very good cup quality as well. Um, that's basically all we have to say about it, right? Um, for more kind of in-depth ideas about it, thoughts about it, then go to our Patreon accounts, sign up there. Those are always the ones that's gonna get the most info. Um, and see a few other brewing recipes, including espresso and so on as well, um, using this grinder. Now, if you have any experience with the grinder, please comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. And if you have any questions on it as well, you're always more than welcome to comment uh, as we appreciate you guys following us and supporting us um, in our hunt for the kind of perfect grinder um, together with the April Brewing Kit. Now with that, thank you guys for watching and have a great day. We want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you want to see uh, because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.